Good morning, Modern Stedders. It's Friday. You know what Friday is. Modern Stedder update. Now that we got the fire going, let's go outside and take care of the animals. What are you doing, you silly cat? You like the warm concrete floor? Here's the chicken plucker we'll be giving away when we hit 20,000 subscribers. I'll put a link in the description down below for how you can enter in for your chance to win. Let's grab our scrap bucket for our pigs. They'll appreciate this this morning. You ready to go out, Pluto? I gotta put my bogs on first. You excited? Huh? Ready to go do the update? Yeah. Yeah. Pluto looks forward to doing the modern center update every Friday too. Now I moved Rufus and the Icelandic chickens into New York City last night. Rufus and the two older chickens stayed in the greenhouse. I couldn't get them in New York City. But the smaller chicken went inside for the night. How was your first night? All the Icelandic chickens make it out. Where are the other ones? They must be out somewhere. I see three of the four Icelandic chickens. Let's go look inside New York City and see where the other one is. Oh, here he comes. Are you sleeping in? Huh? You must like it inside New York City. I think this is a bird bath. Come on. It's going to be nice having all the chickens in one area for the winter. I bet you Rufus and all his ladies are gonna love being in New York City. It'll be a lot warmer for all the chickens too. It'll be that much more body heat for them. To help them keep warm throughout the winter.
Look at Andy's blue feet. I just think that's so odd that he has blue feet. Went to the local hardware store the other day. We picked up the foam board. We're putting that. I'll be installing that foam board back here on this side of the wood cook stove and the reason for that is we can't have the full thickness of our fiberglass insulation because the window won't be able to roll past it. So we're gonna have, we can only use one inch of foam insulation and that'll give us enough room for our window to slide past. Then we're gonna put strapping there. We need to strap the whole inside of the kitchen where the fiberglass insulation is. My goal for tomorrow is to get the foam board up get all inside insulated, and then fingers crossed the next day, hopefully, fingers crossed the next day, the material is going to show up that I ordered on Monday. So we can put that up and we can have the inside, the outdoor kitchen sheet. It won't be finished. There's still some fancy trim work I want to do here and there. But the big part will be done and it will look beautiful again inside the outdoor kitchen. And once it's all done, we're going to redo our photo shoot for our sweatshirts and our t-shirts. We did them in the house. The lighting in the house isn't desirable for filming. I need to get some better light bulbs for the house, and we're working on that. We have regular light bulbs in there, so everything looks yellow. I think it's because we have a lot of pine and just natural wood in there. So the regular lighting just makes everything look yellow, and I'm not like a professional with lighting. but. I'm working on trying to get some natural daylight light bulbs. They're a little pricey, so we're trying to work on that. And then that way when we're photoing inside, we're taking pictures. When we're making videos inside of cooking, we'll have better lighting. I think that's one of the reasons we haven't done so much footage of inside cooking is the lighting's terrible. We don't look as beautiful. No, it just doesn't look as nice. While I was on Instagram this morning, I came across a great opportunity for one, maybe two, modern steaders. Reformation Acres is putting on a three-day pig harvesting class at Han Hewn Farm in Ohio on December 8th. I'm going to put a link in the description down below to Han Hewn Farm's website. So if you're in Ohio, or if you want to go to Ohio next Friday for a three-day hog harvesting class, Click on the link down below, go buy the last ticket or two, and have fun. We learned a ton doing our three-day hog harvesting class, and I know there's a lot of modern steaders that want to go to one of the classes. Well, now is a great opportunity. If you get to go, let me know. We're going to be doing another class here at Lumna Acres. There's just so much more to learn. It's exciting. Let's go feed Copa and Prosciutto. I bet they're going to love this breakfast. Good morning, girls. Good morning. I got some slop for you. Can I entice you with a smell to come out? Oh, does that smell delicious? I bet to a pig it does. Come on. Oh yeah. Ready? Pigs probably aren't going to care about their water right now, but I don't blame them. I'd want the slop too. Oh, 
I'm hoping to let them out on the bigger pasture later on this week. You don't want to share. They saved the vegetables for last. Do you like that? No, it's lime. The prosciutto is still carrying in the refrigerator. That's almost done. We have our copa curing in the refrigerator. That's done for the pot of curing in the refrigerator. A little over, which is fine. Doing the equilibrium brine cure, whatever you want to call it, the equilibrium method. You can't over cure it because you only have so much of your cure in there. So once it all gets in the meat, you cannot overdo it. It's not going to over salt it. So if it stays in the brine, the cure, the mixture, however you want to call it, the too long, there's no too long. So I ordered the beef bung for our copa. When that comes in, we'll put the copa inside the beef bung and then we can hang it and let it age. And that'll be ready for our next pig harvesting class. And we can cut into that during that class. That's gonna be fun. Copa. I'm talking about a copa, and copa's over here pushing on the camera. Back off! I don't think she likes us saying that we're going to be eating a copa in the next hog harvesting class. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want your chance to win the automatic chicken plucker, I'll put a link here and in the description down below. Go on over to our website, you can sign up there also. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acre, the guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Oh, you let me pet you for a second. Disappeared. Let's see what they're up to. What are you doing? Huh? You like it in front of the wood stove?